why the hell are you sending these maternity coupons to my daughter? She is in high school. Are you encouraging her to become pregnant? Research shows us that if Facebook can know 300 of your data points, like what you like, what you share, what you watch, what you don't watch, it can understand you more than you understand yourself. It may be difficult to grasp the concept. Let me tell you what Target, a supermarket, did in 2002. So they came up with this million dollar question. Just by using computers and data, can we know which of our customers are pregnant? Even if they don't want us to know. So a mathematician started to work on the problem. And he started to profile shopping patterns of expecting mothers. And he realized some, some common observations, such as increase in the purchase of lotions and vitamins. Eventually, he was able to come up with 25 data points that when analyzed together, will not only predict the pregnancy with a very high accuracy, but also the stage of pregnancy and, and the due date. So they ran this mathematical model on their database and started to send maternity coupons to their customers just at the right time. Genius. And just so that you know that pregnant women are the holy grail of retailers. <laughs> this is the time when old habits start to break down. This is the time when their you know, shopping habits change. This is the time when the brand loyalties are up for the grabs. And Target knew it. And also, this is the time when women are tired and overwhelmed. And Target knew that if we can bring the women in, entice the women in, they will not only buy the diapers and the baby crib, they will end up buying much more. Genius, again. But at the same time, they were a bit cautious about secrecy laws and not making it too obvious. Because, you know, it might turn some women away. Women never told them they were pregnant. So they played another trick here. They started to send coupons of unrelated products with formula milk just to appear more random and natural. Genius. But after one year of running the model, something very interesting happened. A father came into a store in Texas, Minnesota, and he was not happy. He was very angry. He wanted to see the manager, and he started shouting, why the hell are you sending these maternity coupons to my daughter? She is in high school. Are you encouraging her to become pregnant? And obviously, store manager had no idea what was going on. He apologized, and the father left. Store manager called back after one week, and this time, father was not angry. In fact, he was embarrassed. And I know what you're thinking. <laughs> <laughs> father said, in fact, I want to apologize because there were few things going around in my house that I wasn't aware of. My daughter is pregnant and she's due in August. And let this sink in because algorithm knew a, a girl was pregnant before her father. This is the power of data. This was the power of data back in 2002. It's before Facebook. It's before your smartphones. It's before Google, when none of us really had an internet footprint. Now imagine 2020, when everyone has multiple social media profiles, your Google Home and your Google Maps tracking where you're going, and just, I'll leave it to your imagination what data can do now and how accurate it can actually make your predictions. Thank you. Yeah.